Did you try Google Translate? We've tried everything. <laughs> what if we kidnapped a linguist? Do you know any that could read this book? Oh no, I wasn't talking about the book. I'm just bored. What do you have against linguists? They talk too much. And that squiggly line looks like a tree on fire. What kind of tree? A mulberry tree. Oh. I see it. Ah! Stop being a jackass and go find Howard. Fine! As leader of this group, I elect to go find Howard. Hmm? Eureka, bitches! I've done it! Found her. What the hell is this? I've come to the conclusion that the only way to translate the book is to find someone who speaks the language. But it's a beyond dead ancient language. Nobody can translate it. Nobody alive can translate it. But maybe one of us had an ancestor who could. What are you talking about, Dr. Science? Let me explain. These pills contain a series of enzymes which then activate codons, which allow the brain to process... The pills let you access the memories and personalities of your ancestors. Each pill takes you further back along your family tree, so hopefully one of you will be able to translate the book while I monitor the situation. Are there any questions before we begin? How will we get back to being ourselves? Oh shit, that's a good question. Each pill lasts about five minutes, or take another pill and regress another life and add another five minutes. Okay, is everybody ready? Let the experiments begin! Can you read this page? Silly lady, I can't read that smelly old book. I'm only this many old. But I can do this. Oh, do you know the muffin man, the muffin man, the muffin man? Do you know the muffin man that lives on Drury Lane? My mommy says that if I work really hard and practice my singing and dancing and push Shirley Temple down the stairs, then I'm going to become a star. Surely that's one way to the top. God, he did stand up in a past life. Hey, can you read this? Oh, heavens no. You don't see books like that out here in Nimrod, Minnesota. Don't you know? Oh, let me check the oh. package book. Hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Dr. Shirley Howard. Ted Bundy. Everyone, new pill, now! It sounds like you need to take a pill. A chill pill! <laughs> Man, this Great Depression is peanuts compared to my Great Impression. I'm Abraham Lincoln, and whenever I go to a restaurant, I always tell the waitress, don't seat me at a booth! Get it? Get it? A booth, like Don Wilkes? I'm cutting you off. Excuse me, miss, but there is the pure. Jesus Christ, Philip, what's wrong with your family? Madam, we must leave here. It is not safe. The British are coming. The British! You know, they talk about the stock market crash, but they never say what it crashed into. <laughs> Bloody good, that one. These pills have some kind of power. I cannot let them fall into the hands of the enemy! You know what's a kooky word? Fulsome. How can you be full of some? Oh, I tell you, those dictionary boys are full of something! Pills, pills, pills! Where are the pills? These pills are mine! Philip, don't! Oh! oh. Fascinating. It seems his brain has regressed to the synapsid fall of the dimetrodome. 
I'm Dr. Patrick Howard. I've read your notes. Marvelous plan. Howard? You mean August and I are related? Distantly, through enough genetic crossings, everybody's related. But enough pleasantries. We should really focus on your companion. While it appears to act with dinosaur-like tendencies, the Dimetrodon is actually a pelicosaur, a so-called mammal-like reptile. Wow. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, who's the good Dimetrodon? You are, you are. You're such a good little mammal-like reptile. Oh, <laughs> You know, you remind me of my dog, Scruffy. He had two lazy eyes and he didn't do much, but he was my best pal. <laughs> my mama said we couldn't keep him when we moved to the city, but I couldn't figure why. <laughs> Ain't no dog ever done nobody no harm. Oh, Scruffy, I'll never leave you again. <laughs> oh. There's one pill left. Dr. Howard, would you like to do the honors? Well, Dr. Howard, I'd be delighted to take part in your scientific endeavors. Oh! Oh! oh. oh. Howard, what happened? You overdosed and became a lizard mammal. Also, you're related to Ted Bundy. What? 18 ways to spice up your next virgin sacrifice. <laughs> oh, number nine really takes me back. You can read the book! As a devoted follower of Sagamith, I'm well versed in the tongue of the goddess. Is there anything about summoning Sagamith in there? Of course. Shall I translate it for you? Yes, yes wait, please! Wait, wait, What does this mean? Ah, uh, that's the proper technique for setting fire to a mulberry tree. Ha! I knew it! In your face! In 